Okay, let's go ahead and work our first uh, problem. We're going to work a few problems, and we're going to get the hang of using these equations. And they're really not that hard to deal with once you get the hang of it. The first problem says a bridge is 518 meters long, and it's a steel bridge. How much will its length uh, change between temperature extremes of negative 20 degrees Celsius and 35 degrees Celsius? So basically, you have a bridge. It's X number of meters long, 518 meters long, and the temperature extremes that we're dealing with is negative 20 degrees Celsius all the way up to positive 35 degrees Celsius. And the question is, how much will this bridge, the length of it, actually change based on these temperature extremes? So it's a pretty practical thing, and it's also a solid steel bridge. So what we're going to do is we're first going to write down what we know. The initial temperature was given as negative 20 degrees Celsius. Okay negative 20 uh, degrees Celsius. The final temperature, because we're talking about the temperature extremes, was 35 degrees Celsius. Okay, We know that the initial length of the bridge was 518 meters, and we know that it's a steel bridge. Uh, we know it's a steel bridge, so right away we're going to look in our table in the book, and the coefficient of linear expansion of steel is 11 times 10 to the negative sixth and the unit is going to be 1 over degrees Celsius. I just put the unit there to, to just so you know for sure what we're dealing with. So our temperatures are in terms of Celsius. Our coefficient of linear expansion is also in terms of Celsius, so we're good to go just to use these units just the way they are. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply the uh, relation that we learned before. The change in length of anything in one direction, that's what we're talking about here, is equal to alpha, the coefficient, times the initial length times the change in the temperature. Okay. Now in this case, the temperature change is something that we need to calculate because we're going to use this here, but we know what alpha is, we know what the coefficient of expansion is, we know what the initial length is, so let's go ahead and find out what delta T is before we proceed. Delta T is the final temperature, 35, minus the initial temperature, which is negative 20. Be really careful with your signs here. It's very important to take a logical uh, thing. Anytime you're calculating a delta, it's the final value minus the initial value, minus the initial value, the initial value being the negative 20. So when we do this, it's going to be 35 plus 20 because you know, you, when you multiply the negative times the negative, uh, plus 20. And so at the end of the day, your delta T is going to equal 35 plus 20 is going to be 55 degrees Celsius. Delta T is going to be 55 degrees Celsius. So let's go ahead and continue using our equation. And to do that, we're going to switch colors to make it easier to read. Delta L is going to equal alpha, which is this guy, 11 times 10 to the negative 6 times my initial length, which is 518 meters, times delta T, which is 55 degrees Celsius. Now we're good to go with these units because this is in terms of 1 over Celsius, this is in terms of Celsius, this is in terms of meters, so my final answer is going to be in terms of meters. When you do all of this multiplication in your calculator, you're going to get 0 0.31 meters. That's the answer, 0 0.31 meters. And if you just wanted to convert that to a unit maybe a little more familiar with, uh, that you're familiar with, you can say 1 meter is 100 centimeters cancel the meters with the meters. So at the end of the day, if you do this multiplication, 0.31 times 100, you're going to get 31 centimeters because that's what you're left with. So a little unit conversion, depending on you know what you're more comfortable with. It's perfectly fine to leave it in this uh, unit. It's perfectly fine to convert it to something that might make a little more sense to you. So that's pretty cool when you think about it. A bridge 500 meters long, 518 meters long, during a typical temperature swing in the winter can actually expand in the daytime by 31 centimeters. Now think about that. A centimeter is about the width of your finger. So 31 of those things, I mean 31 centimeters is probably something like this. It's a pretty big uh, you know, uh, expansion. So you can see why you need those joints in the bridge. So they can swell and kind of, uh, and kind of glove, uh, dovetail together like that. Otherwise the bridge would literally buckle and, and start to fracture if you didn't actually construct them this way.